Hi everyone, I'm back with another video. On this one, I just wanted to go through the Lumix tethering software and how you can use it with your Lumix camera to use the video stream to work with Zoom or Skype for video conferencing or video calls or things like that. I'm super excited. I'm so glad that they've released a beta version of this software. It saves having to buy separate webcams or other USB connecting devices which were quite costly and never guaranteed to work. So first of all, before you download the software, please check that your firmware is up to date. You can do so by going through the menu in your camera under setup. There should be an option for firmware version and you can click on it. And I've got the S1H, my firmware version was one. This firmware version is two, which meant I needed to update the firmware in order to make sure that the tethering software was most effective with this camera. So I'll leave a link for the firmware page. As I said, I'm using the S1H, so that's a full frame camera. So I'll click on the full frame system camera slash lens tab. And under S1H, there is indeed a firmware version which was released on the 25th of May of this year. So if you click on the download page, you have an option to download it. And then for further instructions on how to update the firmware on your camera, you just click on the procedure here. And basically all it's saying is that you extract the zip file that you just downloaded onto a formatted memory card. And then you put that memory card in your camera, you fire up the camera and in that same setup menu where you checked the firmware version, you just need to click on firmware update. The extraction of the zip file will give you a .bin or a .plf file depending on the model of your camera. And once you've moved this to the memory card, you just click on step two. And essentially all you need to do once you've put in the memory card and fired up the camera is click on the menu set button and then select firmware version in the menu, in the setup menu, and then select firmware update. It will ask you if you want to update, you click yes and then you should have a firmware update in progress notification with a progress bar. Once this is completed, the camera will restart and there you have it, you'll have your updated firmware version on your camera. So you've updated the firmware or you already had updated firmware. The next thing to do is to download the tethering software. Now for this, you'll need to put in the 11 digit alphanumeric code in, in order to get to the download page. I've already done this, but you'll find this code on the underside of your camera so just key in that number and then click on download, download the software and install it. Next up, download OBS for either Windows, Mac or Linux. And additionally, you're going to want to download the OBS virtual cam. So once you've done all of this, just launch the Lumix tethering software. It's going to start looking for the camera. I have hooked up my camera via USB-C on the camera side to USB hello 3.0 on the laptop side. So you can see it's working and there is a bunch of information on the right hand side of the screen here. To get rid of that, you just click on this full screen button here. But before you do so, make sure that you ensure that the live stream quality is fine because by default it's normally on standard. So just make sure it's on fine. And there are other things that you can play around with here, but let's just keep it simple. Click on the full screen button and it will get rid of that information on the right hand side of the screen. So that's the streaming aspect dealt with. Next up, you're going to want to launch your OBS software. And you're just going to have a blank screen like this. So you want to head over to the sources window, click on add and go to window capture. Just click on OK. And then by default, it's chosen the Lumix Live View. There's loads of other windows here like Google Chrome. Um, and there's another option for the Lumix Tether of DCS1H. Just pick the Live View. And once you've picked that, click on OK. Now by default, the screen is not the same size as the window. Ideally, you want this completely encompassing the window. So just drag this square here until everything is overlapping the borders of that window and then make sure you drag this bit at the top because you don't want that gray border. Of course, cool, so everything's within the window, that's all set up. The next thing you want to do is go over to tools, click on virtual cam and you don't really need to do anything here. Just make sure that the target camera is OBS camera. There are other instances that you can pick if you had other cameras or other setups that you wanted to assign to these other instances 
But if you just got one like me, then just click on OBS camera and just click on start. So that has started a stream that is available to external applications. So then you want to head over to Zoom and then click on the settings icon here, head over to video. And by default, it's already chosen the OBS camera for me because that's what I selected before I made this video. But when you open it, it's quite possible it will be on integrated camera on, or some other option. Um, so it was like this for me before my integrated laptop camera, but then I switched it over to OBS and it's this camera, much higher quality, much better depth of field. Um, I don't need to preach to you as to why it's better to use this streaming software and this camera as opposed to the integrated one. So that's pretty much everything. I'll just remove this. There's dozens of videos on how to stream from OBS to streaming platforms like uh, Twitch or YouTube. You just click on the settings option here and then click on the stream option and then you choose the service that you want to connect to and then you can broadcast this source to those streaming platforms. But I'm not going to go into that because I think there's enough videos out there explaining this but not so many explaining the uh, tethering software from Lumix. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any more of my content, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video comes out. If you have any issues setting this up, also please leave a comment below. Either myself or someone in the community can help you out if you have any problems. So I hope you found this useful. And until another problem arises, guys, I'll see you in the next one.